Hi, Carlitos. Good night. How are Good you? Night, Do Bye. you feel uh, less uh, tired than yesterday? Yes. Why are you always so soft? It's so so. Yeah. Yesterday yes. was more than today. Yes, yes. Wow. I, I take up pills. You yes. took pills? Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, for the, how do you say, relaxed body. I don't know. Ah, mm -hmm. it, it is, uh, they are anti stress pills? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's, no. Uh, physical muscle, relaxed muscle. And, oh, got it, got it. And oh. Faint. oh, I know that kind of pill, right? Okay, uh, like no. a. Yeah, sore muscle pills, mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah. metocarbamol, like that. I mean, it's the same. The yeah, same that's the pills. one. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, to relax your muscles a little bit. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! Hopefully, you don't sleep in class <laughs> because uh, those are the well, second uh, effects, right? The relaxes uh, a lot. That you're like <sighs> like that. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. My best recommendation would be if you can drink a cup of coffee. No, no. Uh, 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 I take a cup of coffee uh, later because uh, mm -hmm. I, I stay, uh, uh, wake up, uh, open the, the ah, eyes. So, it, so the, uh, the, the, the situation <laughs> is you can drink coffee, but not too late ah, at night. Yes, yes, ah, yes. If no, you will be like owl, like open your eyes at midnight and you still wake it up. Yes. Okay, got it. I understand. <laughs> You know what? That happens to me with the soda. It's the same. The same. The soda, the Coca Cola, for example, for example, is uh, has many, many sugar, sugar mm -hmm. and coffee and caffeine. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like that doesn't happen to me with coffee mm -hmm. because the coffee you can drink it without milk, without sugar, mm -hmm. but with Coke, yes. <laughs> so no, no, no. Or also with green tea as well because uh, green tea gives you like oxygen on your on your head mind. right on your mind or your mm -hmm. brain so i cannot mm -hmm. take it no. hey but I'm, you know what i thought that it would be only you and me me and you one-on-one -on -one session but no mm -hmm. we have girls here we have b mm -hmm. we have Denita, mm -hmm. and also we do have Nuvi, and we have jesse or jessania that's cool hey lucky you jorge carlitos you're blessed between these beautiful ladies today. Yes. yes I, know. <laughs> I know that. All right. Cool. Today, guys, we're going to start a really brand new topic. And um, we're going to refresh some things about that as well. Um, but before we move on, uh, I just want to know, guys, uh, if you know the difference between countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Do you know that? Do you remember no. that? Brie, Carlitos, B, Nubi, Isenia, Dinita. Yeah, do you remember that? Mm, yes. More or less? All righty. The count, uh, example, cars. Ah, uh -huh. And then non, non count, uh, mm -hmm. milk. For yes, example. very good. Good examples, Nubi, exactly. The countable nouns are things that you can pluralize. Like the example that Nubi says, car, cars, right? Cars. cars, cars. I can say uh, tree, trees, right? I can do that. However, in uh, un uncountable nouns, this example that the, uh, Nubi gave us, milk, sugar, yes. rice, something that you cannot count, right? Itself. <clears throat> if you put a milk in the container, Yes, of course, yes. but alone, no. So that means, guys, that you cannot put, you cannot say a uh, sugar, a uh, rice, and no, you cannot do that. That's not good. You cannot put any determinant before the name, before the water. counter. You cannot say a uh, water. You can say water, sugar, milk. You cannot put anything before that noun. Okay, so that means, guys, that with countable nouns, you can use singular verbs and you can use plural verbs. However, with uncountable nouns, you can only use singular. That means that you can never pluralize uncountable nouns. So can you say, you can also say uh, milk are good. No, milk is good. All right. Mm -hmm. 
That's what you can make. We use, we use is. Yes, all the time, Nuvi. All the time, because uncountable nouns always will be pluralized. It will be sorry, singular because you cannot pluralize. For example, you cannot pluralize pollution. You know what pollution is, right? You yes. know the, okay, contamination yeah, of the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you cannot say pol pollutions in most of the city of this planet are bad. You can also say that because pollution is uncountable. So you can you have to say pollution is dangerous for human health, for example. Right? So it always remember that. Never pluralize uncountable nouns, and always we're going to use singular verbs. Okay. Also, oh, so you're good, guys. Excellent. Can you give me, Dinita, can you give me an example of count now? Something that you can count? Count um, mm -hmm. fish. Which one? Fish. Ah, that's a good one. Fishes. Mm -hmm. Not really. Let me let you know something. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving me an example. That okay. word is really tricky, guys. And let me let you know why. For example, uh -uh. no. For example, let's pretend that I catch a salmon, right? Salmon is one type of fish, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I also catch two more salmons, right? So that means that I have three. I don't have two. I don't have one, right? But a, a, it is the same species from the same species. It's not different type of fish. So mm -hmm. if it's one fish, you're going to use fish. But if you have more than one, but it's exactly the same type of fish, you're still going to use the word fish. You said a fish, one. Mm -hmm. Some fish, more than one. More but than the one. same species. However, when can you pluralize it? Okay. If you have, for example, a salmon, a curbina, and a boca colorada, for example, you have three different fishes, but they are different type of fishes, right? So there you pluralize it. Fishes. Because fishes. they are different type of fishes. It's not the same species. Mm -hmm. The first example, it was only salmon. So you said fish for single or fish or some fish if you have more than one from the same type of fish. But you are going to pluralize it if you have three or more fishes, different type of fishes, salmon, curbina, and boca colorada. Then you're going to say fishes. You understand now? Carlitos, B, Nelsi, I just want to know if you understand. Yes, I understand. Nuvi, Alex, Bree, Jesse? Yes, I understand, teacher. You do. Okay, very good, Nuvi. Yes, what about yes? yes what about you, Nelsie? I don't hear you. I think your microphone is off. Oh. Um, can, can you repeat, please? Yes. For example, uh let me see. Let's pretend this is a mouse, right? <laughs> but let's pretend by, by, that, spe by species. By species, exactly. Let's pretend that this is a salmon. So you said a ah, salmon. But let's pretend that I have three of these. But it's the same salmon. So I'm going to I'm I'm not going to pluralize it. I cannot say fishes. I said some fish because some it's for fish. the same species. Okay, the same type of fish. I have one salmon, two salmon, three salmons, for example. But let's pretend that I go to the lake. And, okay, Brie, wait, wait a minute. I'm going to turn around. But okay, let's pretend, Nelsie, that I go uh, to the lake and I got one salmon. I got one bro boca colorada and one curvina, for example, right? Of course, Boca Colorado is, is, is ocean, is ocean fish, right? <laughs> but let's pretend that it's in the lake as well. Okay, so that means that I have three fish, but for a different type of fish. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that means that then you're going to say fishes. Mm. Yeah, that is mm -hmm. the only okay. way that you're going to pluralize it. 
Mm, okay. You didn't know that, right, guys? Okay. You thought Thank you. that you, you're welcome. You thought that you can pluralize no matter if you have one more, more of more than one, right? Mm -hmm. This is a, this is this some most of the people they don't know that, and, and that is a mistake. If you pluralize it and you have the same type of fish, mm -hmm. you will be able to only to pluralize it if it's a different type of fishes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, mm -hmm. but but good one, Dinita. Good one because of course you can pluralize it once you have from different type of fish. Okay, but very good job, very good job. Okay, Nelsie, now do me a favor. Uh, can you give me another example of uncountable now? Uh, Something um, that you cannot water. count. That means that you cannot pluralize. Um, excuse me. water. Very good. Water. Yes. What else? Uh, very good. Um, Bree, can I have an example of countable now? Sugar. sugar. Hey guys, sugar is countable or uncountable? Non-countable. Non-countable. Non exactly. You cannot count it. You cannot count it, sugar itself, Bree. But if you put a sugar in a cup, yes, it will be countable because you said. One cup of Can. sugar, two cup of sugar, three cup of sugar, etc. If you put in a container, right? But the sugar itself, you cannot count it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hear uncountable. Yeah. Oh no, that's okay. No, that's okay. Very good. Excellent. Any other example? Last example, Alex. Can I have an example of uncountable? Uncountable in the air. What? Air. Air. <laughs> air. Yeah. Yes, of course, you cannot count the air. Also the time, right? Very good, guys. Excellent. Why I'm asking you that, I just want to know, guys, if you have clear the definition of countable and uncountable nouns, because this is really basic thing to know for the topic that we're going to start today. Basically, guys, we're going to learn about compound nouns. Any idea? What is a compound noun? No? Compound. Uh -huh. Uncount nouns. Mm -mm. Compound nouns. Compound. Compound nouns, you have uncountable and countable nouns. I don't have nouns. idea. No idea? All right. No idea. And that is really important. We're going to learn. Don't worry about it, Alex. And we're going to learn it today, guys, because uh, in order for to discuss, for example, um, problem situation in our series, in our country related to, to the weather, related to the water, related to the climate, related to the transportation, etc. You would need to learn vocabulary. And one of the main vocabularies that we need to learn are compound nouns. Compound nouns, most of the time guys is used like um, two nouns together and we join it together. And that two nouns make an, one, one phrase, for example, or a, or a new word. Also, you can combine one adjective and one noun, and also is going to become a new word. And that is called compound. That means I got two separate words, separate nouns, adjective and noun, and then I join it in this form, a new word. For example, um, let me ask you something. I'm gonna show you right now, guys, an images. And this images has two columns, letter A and letter B. So what I want you to do, guys, is to join the information or the nouns or the words on letter A to letter B to try to make a new word, okay? Don't worry, don't worry, don't get panicked. Like everybody's like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Carlitos or Alex, who's like, whose dog is that? I think I think is Mr. And Carlitos Antonio dog. Oh. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right, very good. So let me share right now my screen, guys, and you will know what am I talking about. Can you see it, guys? 
Yes, teacher, I see. Very good. Yeah. Okay, guys. So who can help me read only the words on column A? Who can help me read that? Thank you uh, so much, uh, Carlitos. Go ahead. Okay, bicycle, bus, bicycle, 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 bus, mm -hmm. news, mm -hmm. parking, street, mm -hmm. subway, mm -hmm. tax, traffic, mm -hmm. train. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, column B, Alex, please. Garage. Uh -huh. Jam. Garage, a jam, lane, mm -hmm. light, a space, a stand, a station, a stop system. Very good. But you know what? I almost kill you right now. <laughs> No, that's okay. Yeah. Good job. But I almost kill you because of the pronunciation of the S. System. Station. No, a station. Station. Yeah, I'm going to put it again, put it again and I want you to read it once again. Okay? Don't put the A or the E before the S. Just Okay, let me go back. All right, go ahead. Once again, Alex, you can do it. Arash. B, yes, very good. Jam. Mm -hmm. Line. Lane. Lane, okay. Mm -hmm. Light. Mm -hmm. Space. Mm -hmm. Stand. Very good. Station. Very good. Stop. Mm -hmm. System. Bravo. Woohoo. You guys knew you can make it. Congratulations, Alex. Great job, sir. Excellent Thanks. job. So, guys, so you see, we have different uh, words, right? We have some words in column A, some words in column B. And, guys, I want you guys to match the, the column A with the column B so we can create one new word. For wow. example, let me double check right now here. By uh, What about... Boss. Let's start with bus with the easiest one. Let's start with bus. Can we put bus station? station? With the sta station. Very good. Station. Very good. What else? Bicycle stop. Basic. Are you sure it's bicycle stop? Mm. Um, uh -huh. mm. Bicycle is. Um, for example, another word, line. Bicycle line. lane. Mm. lane. lane. The, 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 lane? the bicycle lane, thing. guys, for example, do you remember the Jerusalem? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay, so um, the, the Jerusalem, uh, a, there is a space where only the bicycles can yeah. cross, right? Yeah. So that is yeah. a bicycle like, lane. Mm -hmm. A space yeah. in a highway for only bicycle to cross. Mm. All right, yeah. very good. What about news? A new space, new space, new space, new space, new stand, new stand, new stand, new stand, new stand, guys. Do you remember oh, that sometimes stand. I don't know, I think in Sagiro or there's some in corners that there's like a place where you can find all the newspaper, El Diario de Hoy, Latino, oh. La Prensa Gráfica. Remember that? Gosh. Yes, yes. It's a little container. It's a little, no, it's not container. It's a little, uh, what? Furniture that you use to put all the, the newspapers and you can uh, approach to the people and say, hey, how much is it? It's 50 cents. And you got your newspaper and you go and read it on, at, at work or at home. Yeah, mm -hmm. Estante de, 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 de periódicos. Sí? De period, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so that's newsstand. All right, very good. What about? Uh, subway. Subway. Mm -hmm. subway yeah, I know it's gonna um, be far for you. Parking. Jam. No. no. What about jam. traffic? Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Very good. Excellent. Jam. Traffic oh. jam, guys, is when you are in traffic and you cannot move. Trabaso. Move. Traffic jam. No. Oh. All right. Like a Salvador. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, train. Really? <laughs> yes, you can also say train what? Well, you know what? Let's go parking. Parking system. 
Sistema de parqueo. System. Parking system. What about taxi? Gar the garage. You can do taxi garage, yeah, you can do that. What about street? Train. Street what? Train. Oh. Street light. Semaphore. Light. Light. Mm. You can also say a traffic mm. light or a street light, and it's the same. All right, what about train? Uh, stop. Mm, well, my, yeah, you can say train stop, yeah. And also you can set subway station as well. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. very good. So now you understand what is a compound now? Yes? I got bus, that means bus, right? Teacher, I got a station. teacher. Yes, uh, yes, uh, how, no, we... how, how can we write it? What? How can we write? ¿Cómo this podemos escribir? Yes. Ah, a compound noun? Yes. Ah, I will show, I will show it to you in a minute, okay? I have it there. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, teacher. So, yes, Alex. A jam is um, for my translator say a uh, mermelada. Yes, but it's not. <laughs> exactly, why? exactly. That's why. That's what I'm going that's what I'm going to talk about right now. Because guys. Most of the time, we have two words that separate means something else. For example, traffic is trafico. Jam is mermelada, right? Yeah? And you put it on a toast. Y lo untas en el pan tostado, right? Yeah. However, Alex, mermelada es como que tu, lo tuestas por todos lados. Está por todos lados. Oh, right? Okay. So when you put traffic in jam... That means something else. Trabazón. Okay. You see? Sometimes they don't have like a separate. They mean something totally different. Like example of jam. And Alex said, what's something to do with jam and traffic? I don't get it. Right? But when we join it, it means something else. Por eso les decía. Son palabras diferentes. Pero cuando tú las unes, Tú creas una palabra nueva. Yeah? That's okay. why. For example, uh, we have bus, bus, we have station, estación. We join it, estación de bus. Right? Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah, exactly. Oh, we have another one. Uh, we have, um, what is the other one? Yeah. Oh, bicycle, bicicleta, lane, línea, o fila, right? So when you join it, Bicycle lane is la parte del highway o de la carretera que usa solamente la gente que va en bicicleta, right? The bicycle lane. Aquí no tenemos muchas, pero Jerusalén sí tiene una. Y es siempre la derecha, the right side, right? Yeah? So, ¿ven cuáles son las campanas? And why is really important to know that, guys? Because, for example, if you would like to talk about traffic of El Salvador, you don't know how, how to say trabazón, for example, Alex. Or you, you don't know how to say um, embotellamiento. Or you don't know Traffic how to jam. say... Uh, yes, pero ya te voy a enseñar otra frase. Um, mm. I will teach you another one. And for example, tú no sabes cómo decir buses, taxis, or whatever. No vas a poder hablar de los problemas de transporte, de, uh, de contaminación de población, etc. You need to learn that. Por eso es que estamos aprendiendo los compound nouns. Para que tú puedas hablar, incrementar tu vocabulario y hablar de los problemas. ¿Sí? That's why. The problemas in your village, in your neighborhood, in tu um, vecindario, and at the same time in your country, in tu país. ¿Sí? Y para que compares. That's why it's really, really Teacher. important. Yes, Bri. Uh, can you write the, that word? Ah, um, ahorita that. se los voy a enseñar. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Let me share right now my screen with you guys. Voy a enseñarles ahorita mi screen. Para que Bri, eh, Nubi también me pidió eso. All right, guys. Can you see it? Mm, compound. Compound. Yes. Yes. Bree, do me a favor. 
Can you read the letters that are in red color? It's a noun consisting. Okay, it's a noun consisting of two or more words working together as a single unit to name a person, place, or thing. Compound nouns are usually made out of two nouns or an adjective and a noun, but other combinations are also possible as well. Very good. Good job. Good job, Brie. Good pronunciation. Very good job and good reading. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Alex. I need, a, I need a screen there. I need to take a picture, please, in my mommy. Yeah, if you want to, guys, I can send it to you. Don't worry. Okay, okay. I will send it to you at the end. Okay, so you see, guys, now it's more understandable, right? Let me give an example. You see, can't pronounce. Gas station, supermarket, hair salon, or beauty salon, guys. Bus station, train station, bookstore, department store, Fire station. I think I, this one is like one T that is not supposed to be there. There you go. Uh, pet store, police station, playground, and shopping mall. Guys, may I ask you something before we continue? Do you know the meaning of all these compound nouns? Saben el significado de todos estos compound nouns? Yes. Are you sure? Um, Alex? Play playground. Playground, Alex, es, eh, tú te acuerdas cuando tú vas a un shopping mall y verdad que yeah. más que todo en el food court siempre hay un lugar para que los niños se recreen, ¿sí? Okay. That is a playground. Playground. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Anything okay. else? ¿Algo más, chicos? Bree, B, Dinita. It's okay. Jenny, is everybody okay? Very clear? Okay, mm -hmm. let's yes. move on, guys. Okay, yes. guys, what, yes, if you please. notice, I have a put something here. Do you notice these ones? All these orange circles? The reason, guys, why I'm putting all this here is because we're going to practice the pronunciation of those words. Okay. And in the first, in, in all the places where the orange circle is, is where you need to put the strong effort, so the strong pronunciation. You, you, can, you don't have to say gas station, no. Gas station, supermarket, gas station. Gas station. No. supermarket, like that, okay? So let's practice right now. Repeat after me, gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Bus gas station. station. Gas Bus station. station. Department store. Department, Department store. store. Police station. Police, Police station. station, supermarket, supermarket, train station, train station, fire station, fire station. Fire station. Eso es bomberos, okay? Estación de bomberos. Fire station. Playground. 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 Algo que a nosotros nos gusta visitar. Hair salon. Hair salon. Or beauty Hair salon. salon. Or beauty right? salon. Beauty salon. Bookstore. Book, book, book store. store, pet store, pet, pet store. store, shopping mall, shopping, shopping mall. mall. Very good. Hoy les toca solo a ustedes. Yo no les digo nada. Repeat. Okay. One. I creo que todos al mismo tiempo. Okay. One, two, three. First one. Gas station. Gas station. Continue. Bus station. Continue. Department store. Continue. Police station. Continue. Supermarket. Supermarket. Continue. Train station. Very good. Continue. Playground. Very good. Continue. Hair salon. Hair salon. Continue. Continue. Very good. Now, guys, we're going to make a contest, un concurso. Yeah? ¿Qué vamos mm -hmm. a hacer? A ver. Girls versus boys. Oh. Sorry. Okay, Carlitos, Antonio, you're going to be with Alex. 
and all the girls will be, of course, together, right? Jorjitos is still working. He's here, but he's still working. So it's good. So I think he's not going to participate in this one activity, but you guys, yes. I'm going to send it to you right now. Y quiero, I want that, cuando diga girls, you start, quiero que todas empiecen a pronunciar todas las palabras al mismo tiempo. Y voy a contar, voy a ver cómo lo pronuncian y a ver cuánto se tardan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, y también los boys, ¿sí? Pero quiero que lo pronuncien en vertical, así como lo hemos hecho, no en horizontal, en vertical. So let me, let me share right now with you. Guys, Carlitos and Alex, only girls right now, ¿sí? Ya le va a tocar a ustedes, only girls. En otras palabras, Sipi. Yes, very good. Okay, let me share right now with you guys. Okay, girls, are you ready? Ready. Yes. yes. Okay, yes. one, two, three, go. Gas station, Okay, your last one minute and 15 seconds. Okay, guys, are you ready? Alex right. and, and Carlito, yeah? Right. yeah? Okay, one, two, three, go, guys. Bus station, bus station, station bus the farm store, store, police, police station, station, supermarket, train station, train station, playground, hair salon, beauty salon, bookstore, pet store, shopping mall. One minute! <laughs> and the winners are... Monsieur Carlitos Antonio and Monsieur Alex Jaco. Jaco, sorry. Excuse me, Monsieur. <laughs> hey, great job, guys. Very good. Like you're like, oh, I need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should get a cup of coffee, by the way, Alex. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, great job, guys. You see, it's really important. And the pronunciation. But hey, guys, but you know what? We have more things. Than the compound nouns. Also, guys, I'm gonna give you extra vocabulary so you know how to say the different places for the city, okay? In order for you to increase your vocabulary. So let me share right now my screen with them. There you go. There you go. Do, do, do. Oh, okay, I'm out of places. Mm -hmm. Let me share right now with you. There you go. Ba -da -ba -ba. Alrighty, can you see it, guys? Yeah. Mm, yes. Yes, it's just okay. We have switch shop. Donde venden dulces. Yeah, switch shop. Shopping center. Yeah, where you can buy things. It's casi como shopping mall, but shopping center is un poquito más pequeño. Pet shop is lo mismo que pet store. Toy shop, juguetería, like juguetón, for example. Butchers. ¿Tú sabes que son butchers? No, carnicería, butchers. Butchers. Yeah, butchers. yeah. Uh, art gallery, obviamente, ¿verdad? Galería yeah. de arte. Library. Books. No, library. Biblioteca. 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 Bookstore is librería, right? O papelería. Internet café. Eso ya sabe, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. School. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Cool. Restaurant, of course, right? Restaurant. Bowling alley, like a galaxy bowling, like that. Mm -hmm. Alley. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. Alley, yeah. Yay. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Mobile station, obviously, right? Like Cusco Time <laughs> Stadium, right? Mm -hmm. Supermarket, we already know. Okay, guys. So, and let me show you another one. I'm going to show it to you another one, and then we're going to practice a pronunciation, okay? Another places yeah. that we have. Café, okay. hospital, 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 right? Office. Police station, gas yes. station, station. Airport. Station. airport, hotel, airport, hotel. Okay. school, school. Zoo. zoo, bank, zoo. bank. bank. chemist bank. shop. Chemistry. 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 is another Chemistry. way that we can find like a drugstore, guys, but it's a mini one. The one that you can find mm -hmm. in the downtown. Railway, railway is donde viene las maletas del aeropuerto, right? Railway. Es, 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 un, es un lugar dentro del aeropuerto, railway. 
The restaurant, of course, and car park. Okay, guys. So let's repeat. Soup shop. Sweet shop. Sweet shop. Sweet shop. Yeah. Shopping center. Shopping, shopping center. center. No, shopping center. Shopping, shopping center. center. Very good. Pet shop. Pet, Pet shop. shop. Toy shop. Toy, Toy shop. shop. Butchers. Butchers. Art gallery. Art gallery. Library. 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 Internet cafe. Internet, Internet cafe. cafe. School. School. I know. Why you put that A? School. 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 Very good. Ya les dije que mi oído de tísico es cosa seria. Restaurant. Restaurant. Bolly Alley. Bolly Alley. Alley. Supermarket. Supermarket. Stadium. Football Stadium. Football Stadium. Football Stadium. Football Stadium. ¿Por qué pone Stadium? Stadium. 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 Very good. Vaya pues, vaya pues. Ajá. Café. 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 Hospital. 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 Post office. Post office. Post office. Police of station. Police, Police station. station. School. 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 Y dale con la E. School. 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 No. School. School. Very good. Now I got it. Hotel. 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 Airport. 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 No. Airport. 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 Very good. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Yeah. Chemist shop. Chemist shop. shop. Bank. 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 Zoo. 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 Railway. 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 Restaurant. Car park. Car, car, park. Park. car park. Very good. Good job. ¿Y saben por qué puse unas palabras repetidas? Pronunciation. Exactly. <laughs> to practice the pronunciation. ¿Y saben por qué más? Porque cuando la pronuncia la primera vez dices, me salió. And you continue pronunciating all the words. <laughs> y cuando vuelves a caer en la misma, vuelves a meter el mismo error. <laughs> so you, that is tricky. Yeah. Porque es school. Es cool. Me la pronunciaban mal. Me ponían es school. Y es school. Cool. Yeah. Mm, es Por cool. eso es que la ponía. Para ver qué onda. Mm. Ah, así para darles un poquito de dolor de cabeza. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, just to help you improve your pronunciation. That's why. Okay. Very good job, guys. So you will never forget. Don't put an E before the S, okay? Unless that, that the word is already there. For example, escalate is with E. E-S, escalate. There you can pronounce the E. But if there's no E, don't pronounce it, please. Okay? Very good job, guys. Guys, why? Okay, now we have a lot of vocabulary, right? So far, we have a vocabulary. So now I will share with you something. Now, we're going to practice right now, guys, listening. And right now, I'm going to share with you in WhatsApp three images together. Three images. What I want you guys to, to do is to get familiarized with the images. And you're going to listen. Three people talking about transportation in their country. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention because after that, I will let you know, I will going to ask you something else, okay? So would you like me to share right now the, um, with you? Yes? Okay, let me just a couple of minutes. ¿Me entendieron? Yeah? No, right? No. <laughs> okay. Repeat, please. All right. <laughs> Ahorita vamos a escuchar uh, listening, ¿sí? Ahorita. Yeah. Bria está como, oh my God. Ven que esta semana se vuelve más duro que la semana pasada. Y yeah, I know. Pero, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? All right. Les voy a compartir, I'm going to share with you three images, tres imágenes en WhatsApp, right? En WhatsApp. Esas tres imágenes hablan de tres países distintos. 
y problemas que tienen de transportation. ¿Sí? Entonces, lo que quiero que hagan es que se familiaricen. You get familiarized with the pictures, con las pictures, con las um, fotos. Y al, después de que get familiarized, vamos a poner el audio. Y quiero que a medida que vayan escuchando el audio, traten de identificar solamente con la vista cuál de esas tres está hablando. Porque vamos a tocar las tres en el audio. Pero quiero que vayan asociando cuál image corresponde a cuál audio. You got it? Hoy sí. ¿Qué te pasa, okay. Bri? You're like... I am hungry. Ah, you're hungry. Pero si tú quieres, te puedes traer una galleta, una manzana. I don't, I don't care about that. No hay problema. Sí, no hay problema. <laughs> <laughs> Un churrito. O like, Después eh, de clase. <laughs> Después de clase. Ah, menos mal que no enseñé comida. <laughs> you know, it will be a completely disaster, right? Okay, guys. Very good. So let me share right now my screen with you. I will send it to you right now, the information that I need. All righty, guys. Basically, guys, this is a conversation or comments about transportation services in different countries. Okay, very good. Did you guys receive it? Yeah? Tell me if you do. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. So in the meantime, guys, I'm going to play the audio, but please try to listen and at the same time, watch the images, okay? And then we're going to come back to discuss something about the images. So let me just a couple of minutes. Hey, Frank, welcome. All right, there you go. Okay, guys, listen carefully, please. Unit two, caught in the rush. Page eight, exercise two, perspectives. Transportation services. Part A, listen to these comments about transportation services. Match them to the correct pictures. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Okay, very B, good. A and C. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> three comments from different transportation services from different countries. So guys, we're going to go step by step because it is a, uh, this is an activity to develop your listening skill. All right, you have the image and you have the audio, right? But you have to focus on the image and try to understand what they are saying. Uh, did you did you get all the information? Cacharon toda la información? No, teacher. No, right? No. Yes, oh, not, not all. No, no. Yeah, no. Some words, but not all. Okay, cool. Now mm -hmm. let's do it again. But yes. now I will I will I will ask you something. Hoy I will send it to you another picture, another image. In this image, in this image. Está lo que cada quien dice, right? The, entonces, so, lo que quiero que hagan es que vayan leyendo el comentario de cada uno. Y a la misma vez van a escuchar, no vayan a ver las pictures ahorita, solo necesito el comentario de cada uno y a la vez vayan escuchándolo en audio y lo van leyendo para ustedes, solo con la vista, okay. right? Okay. okay. Okay, and then, ya van a ver que ya después va a ser más fácil. All right, so let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay. Okay, guys. Ready? Ready. Wait, wait. You received the second picture, is that right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now I'm going to play the audio one more time and please focus on the second picture. Okay. All right. 
pick it up. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. There we go. Unit two, caught in the rush. Page eight, exercise two, perspectives. Transportation services. Part A. Listen to these comments about transportation services. Match them to the correct pictures. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Aha! May I ask you guys? Now that you're reading what they are saying, and at the same time you're listening, is it much better? Much better, teacher. Yes. Much better, right? Better, much better. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you see, you understand more because yeah. you have something in writing. And at the same time, you're listening. Aha! Uh -huh, very good job. So now, guys, that you already have listened, that you have the two images there and the announcements. So I want you guys to do me a favor. So let me just a couple of minutes. All righty. There you go. Let me put it here a little bit. Let's move here. There you go. Okay, let me click on this one really quickly. Let me cut and then put it here. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm talking about myself right now. I apologize. All righty. Okay, I'm just moving something here. Okay, there you go. So let me share right now my screen. Let me go back with you guys. There you go. Okay, guys. So we have the two things here, right? We have the the, the pictures and we have the announcements on the right. Is that correct? That's true. Okay, guys. So do me a favor. Okay, the first one. Who can help me read it? Alex, can you please help me read a sentence number one? Okay. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are health healthier. Healthier, very good. Guys, this comment number one, it is for picture A, B, or C? B. B. Option B. 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 B as a boy. Excellent job, guys. Very good. Number two, Bree, can you help me read it, please? Say Brie or B? No. Brie as in Brie. Brie. Brie, sorry. <laughs> Brie Zelda. Okay. Right. Okay, there. Oh, sorry. Number two. Can you, can you see it or you cannot see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, there are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are uh, danger to bicycles. To uh, bicycles or to bicyclists? Bicyclists. Very good. <laughs> Sorry. There is too much traffic. Very good. But do me a favor, Brie. Can you please read it one more time, but with more uh, naturally? Um, Dilo otra vez, pero un poquito más natural, como, como que cuando tú te quejas de las cosas. Like that. <laughs> there are too many. Ah, uh, sorry. There are too no. many cars. Like that. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are dangerous to bicycles. There is too much traffic. Excellent. That's what I need. Good job, girl. So, number two is related to A or C, guys? A. 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 Very A. good. Exactly. Because we have we, we see a, a bicyclist there, right? Yeah. Very good, very good. And Nelsie, could you please be so kind to read number three for me? Okay. Uh, okay, I will, I will try. Okay. Uh, there, there should be few, fewer cars, but I think that the, the biggest problem is parking. There just is no parking. Very good, there just isn't enough. Isn't enough parking. Very good. So it's number letter C, right? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. 
Guys, good job, good pronunciation. May I ask you something? For these three co uh, comments of about transportation services, do you know all the words or there are some new words for you? Uh, teacher, yes. I, I want a question. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the word less and fewer is the same or what is the, the difference? Fewer. I knew they were going to ask me that. <laughs> and you know what? I have already the answer for you. Yes, I will. I, I'm going to have the answer for you guys. Esto, this one, these things, we're going to study deeply tomorrow, right? Pero se los voy a uh, decir desde ahorita, okay? Okay. Eso, guys, en otras palabras, fíjense que eso que me estás preguntando se llama expression of quantity, ¿sí? Y se utiliza para comparar. Pero ahorita te voy a dar la respuesta. I will give you the answer right now. It's Por eso es que yo le estaba fewer. preguntando si está bien countables and uncountable nouns. Por eso. Ahorita voy. Let me check it out. Okay. Yo sabía. Yes. Uh, um, this day I check it in the platform. And, mm -hmm. There and, you go. And... Fewer. Ah, okay. Fewer uh -huh. using in count. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, Alex, you, uh, you asked that question. Do me a favor. Oh. Can you please read it for me? Can you please read all of this? I read? Yes, of course. Okay. The difference between less and fewer. Um, fewer means not as many. We uh -huh. use fewer with countable nouns like cookies. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cookie monster? Cookies Cookies Monster was told on to was, eat, to eat, to eat, to eat, eat fewer cookie. Este es un ejemplo. Al monstruo come galletas le dijeron que comiera no tantas no. galletas. Sí. Fewer. Why? Okay. Cook, because cookies is countable nouns. That means I can count, countable. right? So mm -hmm. with countable nouns, I use fewer. ¿Qué significa? Not as many, no tantas. See? No tantas. All right. Now read number three, please. This one. Less means. Less means not, not as much. Not, not, not as much. Uh -huh. We use less with uncountable nouns like milk. Exactly. Mira, not as much is no tanto. No tantas, no, no mucho. Not as much, right? Se usa con countable nouns, uncountable nouns, algo que no puedas contar. Ejemplo, milk. Usas okay. less. Y aquí hay un ejemplo. ¿Podrías leerle? Um, could you give cookies monster less milk next time? ¿Le puedes, la otra vez le podrías dar menos leche al, al monster como galletas. So you see the difference? Yeah. Significa lo mismo. It means the same, Alex. The difference is with what type of noun you're using. Okay. Esto, esto es importante. Por eso es que tienes que saber la diferencia entre countable nouns y countable nouns, para okay. que así sea menos complicated. Y vamos al ejemplo de lo que acabamos de ver, ¿te parece? Lo de los mm -hmm. comments. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go back to that. Now, let me just a couple of minutes. Let's go back to that. Vamos a hacerle acá. ¿Lo puedes ver? No, yo creo que los voy a hacer más grande. I want to make a little bit bigger. ¿Lo pueden ver ahorita? Yeah, can you see it? Yes. Okay. So, guys, to, mira, mira acá. Uh -huh. Pollution. What it does it mean, pollution? ¿Qué significa pollution? Contamination. Contamination. Exactly. Can you count it? No. 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 Mira por eso que dice, less pollution. Less pollution. Mira, there you go. Ahora bien, um, vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Ok, number three, cars. Can you count it? Cars. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mira lo que yes. utiliza. Fewer. 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 ¿Sí? Eso, guys, se llama, mira, less con uncountable nouns, fewer con countable nouns. ¿Oye, sí, Alex? Yeah. 
Very good. Esto, guys, this guys, we're going to study tomorrow. And uh, this calls, guys, um, expressions of quantity. Yeah? Expression of quantity. Why is going to help us? Para poder hacer lo que acabamos de hacer en el listening, ¿sí? Si tú quieres expresarte de cómo está el sistema de servicio público en El Salvador, you will need expression of quantity. ¿Sí? You will need vocabulary. That's, por eso es que he ido pasito a pasito with uh, countable and countable nouns, with compound nouns, que ya sabemos un montón, with um, places of the city, and now introduction of time of expressions. ¿Sí? Para que ustedes tengan vocabulario para armar your ideas, which is really, really important. Ahora, ¿cómo se dice trabazón? Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Um, traffic, traffic uh -huh. jam. Pero quiero enseñarles algo. All right. Do you see this expression? ¿Sí? Town. The rush. Oh. County rush. No. Rush. Listen carefully how you pronounce it. Eso se pronuncia de un solo. Count rush. No. <laughs> Listen carefully. Cut in a rush. 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 Si tú no fijas, ni siquiera el da se escucha. No. no? Cut in a rush. ¿Sí? Cut in a rush. Cut in a rush. Cut in a rush. Exactly. ¿Qué significa esto? Cut in a rush. Es una expresión que nosotros teníamos, tenemos en inglés, y que cuando tú la dices, ya la gente sabe que tú venías en una trabazón y que no te podías mover para ningún lado. O te dices, hey, what happened? Why you came so late? ¿Por qué viniste tan tarde? Ha, you cannot imagine, I was caught in a rush. ¿Sí? No tienes ni idea, I was caught in a rush. En otras palabras, estaba en una trabazón, pero caught in a rush, guys, es una trabazón que no tiene ni siquiera un centímetro para que un eh, zancudo pase enfrente de ti. ¿Sí? Es decir, you have cars in front of you, back, right side, next and left side, and you cannot move. ¿Sí? Yeah. That is caught in a rush. So yeah, there's another, uh, that is another expression, guys, to say traffic jam. Okay, traffic jam. But cutting a rush es más como de plano no te puedes mover. Atrapado. Exactly, como atrapado, exactly. Exactly, Lina, the car in a rush. Porque traffic jam es que tenés un montón de carros, pero que hasta cierto punto está como fluida la cosa, ¿no? Pero car in a rush, ahí sí no hay vuelta de hoja. ¿Sabías esa expresión? No. So you see, guys, you're learning something new every day. Yeah. Hey, you're increasing your vocabulary, you see? So cut in a rush, you cannot move. Is is a synonym expression <coughs> of traffic jam. Synonym, but it's not but it's not quite the same, right? It has a little bit of difference. It's a difference about space, of course, the space of movement, right? All righty. Hey guys, what about fish? Did we learn something else about fish today? Re relating camp uncountable nouns, right? Yeah. All right, very yeah. good. Now you see fish for singular not, for the same well. fish. Fish, well. if you have more than one, but it's the same species. Mm -hmm. Fishes, if you have more than Three one types. from different species. You see? Very good job. Excellent. I'm so proud of you guys. You have done a really good job. Tremendous job. May I ask you guys how you are doing right now on the platform? Uh, is everything okay? Do you have any doubts? Any difficulties besides Alex? I don't know. No. No. For the for for this mom, um, uh, uh, it's all clear. Okay, very good. So, guys, if you have a doubt and if something is, uh, it give you like hard or you don't know how to do it or you have doubts on how to do it, you can just put the information on the WhatsApp chat and we can discuss yeah, it. Okay, you. here in class. Okay, so we can help each other, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, Bree. Breast Brie, it's time. It's time for you to have your dinner. Yeah, with a Coke and Mr. Alex with a cup of coffee. 
Woo! Okay, guys, it was a pleasure to have you once one more time. Okay, I'm so happy to see you every night. So hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye -bye. Good night. 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 Good night.